Hey, what's going on Beowulf Nation? It's I'm Beowulf back at it with another video. So if you saw my last video, I showed a comparison of three aftermarket sponsons for a Kawasaki SXR 1500. But before we get all there, I do free monthly giveaways. It's totally free to enter. Giving away free monthly a Jet Tribe Life Fest. How you enter it to be subscribed to I'm Beowulf and to my second YouTube channel, Beowulf Nation. And then you either have to give me a follow on Instagram, I am underscore Beowulf. If you don't do Instagram, then he has to be Facebook, my Facebook page, I am Beowulf. You have to do those three things to get entered into the giveaway. If you don't, you can't give in it, it's free. So hey, you can't be free. Also too, I have a merch store, I am Beowulf.com and an Amazon store. Check that out too, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Let's get this video going. So. Where I live in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, the intercoastal waterway has super, super strong current underwater, right? I rode this thing in the Midwest, it was a dream. Every time coming back to where I normally ride, it's super challenging. We have alligators in the water, we have bull sharks in the fresh water, and then I took this twice to the ocean, where then we got bull sharks, alligators, tiger sharks, hammerheads, great white sharks, Oh my! When you go in the ocean, it's fine, except for you get a huge patch of current, you'll feel, it feels like turbulence, or they're known to have stock called a death wobble, where a wobble like this. Now I did have on the Riva Racing sponsors, it really caused it violently. Every time going was, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I reached out to JC Racing, and they make a sponsor. Let me get the whole connection. I just think I connected it already up on there to test for this. It goes the other way because I already test fitted one before starting the video. So this is their response. I did a whole video comparison, so check that out. But I'm gonna connect this in, but what I did first with it is that, so they have two different mid sponsors. So this one is in the photo is the one that's for a race legal with that. Um, and it kind of shows the whole diagram of where the specs, where it has to be, I, IJSBA legal length or what it has to be. So this one is different than that. So what you have to do is drill out this hole in this hole, which is a seventh and this is the eighth. So you count back from that way. And then you're not reusing that hole. And then from that hole to there, you, and I did a pretty good job being pretty dead center. I have to say, I was a little, and could have gone a little lower, but I think it's pretty perfect. I was a real worried because you drill, you're drilling through the fiberglass too not into the hull of the ski, but the lip. So I was a little worried because I'm like, oh man, it better be perfect. Otherwise I'm really screwed. So it is, but uh, so there's settings. So let me show you guys with the sponsor. And this is the opposite side, but you have three settings. So I did it just to start it off. I have it in the dead center. So basically we can see where we go from there, which I'm really curious to see how the stability of something like this is gonna be. And it looks super cool. You barely can even see it, which is totally crazy, but the water goes underneath there. And I'm very curious to see what this is going to be. They have this block plate because you would normally mount the other one that'd be the re legal one right up in here. So they got this plate. And this thing's basically, like I said in the past minute, it's a samurai sword, uh, tons of adjustments. So I'm gonna show you this whole video how to install it. I wanna first do the other, that side to make sure I was like, before I start filming, I wanna, some stuff where I feel is a little complicated, I wanna make sure I'm where I'm doing before I'm doing, because if you had the legal length one, right, you'd be drilling here and there, and that's where it'd be mounting. So we're going even farther up forward, means it's probably even better. So those were the two I drilled and then it's basically right there. It's like 10 inches back But you got to measure from there. I was a little worried like were we measuring from the dead center to the way back uh, Yeah, so it worked and I had no issues, but I was a little I was a little worried a little worried so you're drilling out the two rivets seventh and eighth and then I'm gonna install right now is this piece right there it says the optional of doing marine silicone on the back I'm not this time because I want to first see how this thing all rides, but there's no turning back once you do the drilling. But I think this will really help fixing where it has been troubles riding. JC Racing said they can't promise anything, but you can tell it's a lot better than some of the competition out here. I mean, you got this tiny Riva Racing one that's like basically 
you know, almost fits in fits inside the size of the sponson. And the same as we'll show you on this one. The same there too. I mean, it's it's pretty tiny. All right, so I got this plate on, and uh, wow. So it's pretty far up where you see that uh, mid sponson is at, but definitely this thing is super big, and uh. Yeah, it goes it goes all the way up Which is different than all the brands is this is basically where there's no water traveling over the sponsor And I think all the other ones never went that uh, Even that piece that you have already mounted up there. I mean, so there's no water traveling above this which I All the other brands there was there was it wasn't like that where it's all the way up top Which I really think this thing is designed I'm hoping it looks like from what I'm seeing right now, it could be one of the best sponsons out there for the SXR 1500. So I installed it basically like pretty much in the dead center. Far forward, looks like you use, so this is the, the center part where you couldn't put a lower one, so it had seven bolts in there. And it's really rigid, really on there good. And I, I don't think it's really made to go lower than that. It could, but then you're just having just a couple of bolts and being somewhere rough, you wanna have a good, amount of force and uh yeah it's basically what one side looks complete now we got another bare side that has to be be installed so this is what the holes look like drill it's supposed to be eight and that would be the seventh hole then we're measured from there back 10 inches that's not exactly where it's at but i'm just getting it right there to back there's the hole Right there, now it's time to mount it up. And you wanna probably wear eye protection because this fiberglass and stuff kicks up when you're drilling that. These ones don't because it's already, but this one, because you're going right through the fiberglass. It gets a little messy. I've already wiped you up, it doesn't even look like there's a mess, but yeah, there was. Again, the middle bolts, or the middle holes is what I used. And uh, yeah, it's on there. It's on there good. That's a better view of that upper plate that you have to put in. Oh, this thing is really nice. Again, had the back plate on. You do in the same spot, obviously. You don't want them in two different positions with the sponsons. So double check before you start putting the bolts in on that side. Bingo. Man, look how sharp that looks. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Want the act, not the ghost. Running through it with the young and blooming said it. Less impressions, I'm succumbing to it. I've been giving yeses when I shouldn't do it. I complete ejected with the moves elusive, and I'm barely moving, but I'm still gonna boost them. I can't work on winners when I know you're losing. So I work the winners and they throw with deuces. Guess I have to pivot, shooting the bazookas for the facts. I need racks, paper, cash, fuck a tax. That's a joke. Tell them, laugh, Uncle Sam, fuck out the bag. Bro, me plot, we'll get a whack. Contract, give me the max. I got lab on my back. You ain't that, then it's raps. Whoa, 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 whoa. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all come. For the record, you ain't tryna grow, then it's done for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't tryna link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, for the for the record. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Man, it's always fun doing installing new parts and new things and things I've never even installed certain ways like that. I hate drilling though, but hey, it was no problem. The drilling, we had it where it's no problem. It's looking, it's just looking so good, man. I'm telling you, it's, it's, I really don't want to sell it, but I, let's see how it rides, you know? 
I'm hoping it fixes it because it's it's you guys aren't even gonna understand how annoying is where I ride. I, it, if I could move, I would, but otherwise it's fun riding here. It's just dumb ones to eat you, you know. If you if you don't pay attention, and especially dude riding this, you got your legs in the back, which is yeah. <laughs> Oh man, you never know what's popping out of the water. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Be driven to win. Remember every day is Earth Day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Bay Wolf Nation.